Chromebooks for cloud gaming are coming, and I gotta say, they look sick. Today we're gonna be talking about just that, so let's dive right in and get to it. Chromebooks have been around for quite some time, and they've been a go-to solution that's been affordable for many people out there. Very recently, they've gathered a lot more popularity among younger students. But starting today, they're taking a step forward into the gaming scene. These are the Chromebooks built for cloud gaming. These custom-built Chromebooks have been designed with the help of Google and Nvidia to make sure they have everything a gamer would need. And yes, for those wondering, that includes support and hardware to take advantage of NVIDIA's GeForce Now's 3080 tier. We're talking custom-built Chromebooks that support up to 1600p resolution, including 120Hz or higher, along with some models even featuring RGB gaming keyboards with anti-ghosting and Wi-Fi 6 or 6E for seamless connectivity. The three models announced today include the Acer Chromebook 516 GE, the Asus Chromebook Vibe CX55 Flip, and the IdeaPad Gaming Chromebook from Lenovo. Now let me know if you're interested in hearing more of a deep dive and breakdown of each one of these and their specific features that make them stand out among their peers, but for this specific video, I really want to focus in on why cloud gaming Chromebooks are such a good idea. Speaking as someone who has previously owned and used a gaming laptop, I can tell you that it's not fun to lug around a high-end device that is heavy, big, heats up when in use, and dies quickly. Not to mention, and I think it's fair to say, but a lot of gaming laptops tend to have very gamer aesthetics right out of the gate so you can see them from a mile away. I might be speaking for myself here, but I much prefer the low profile look with the gaming features rather save for the hardware itself or the keyboard at most. And it appears that the manufacturers and Google do understand that with these Chromebooks. They look thin, lightweight, sleek, and modern. If I were to see somebody using one of these in the library, there's no shot I would ever guess they were built for gaming. But aesthetic opinions aside, all of those things count for a device that seems to be easy to carry around and is packing a punch. This thing can run AAA titles off of GeForce Now, Xbox Cloud Gaming, and Amazon Luna. Best of all, it can run those style of games without having to drain its battery life so quickly. And that's because you're simply streaming the game directly to the device rather than having hardware within the device have to power it all. My Steam Deck as of right now is primarily a cloud gaming handheld, and I can tell you right now that it lasts me hours playing AAA games. Whereas if I play them locally on my Steam Deck, I'm lucky to get around 3 hours of gameplay time on a AAA title. To put things into comparison with a high-end gaming laptop that sports a 3080 GPU inside, playing a game on there, you're lucky to get more than an hour and a half of gameplay, if that. So not only are these Chromebooks easy to carry around, but they also last longer during heavy gaming sessions. Now let's talk performance because this is a topic that will be brought up. Google has stated that all cloud gaming Chromebooks have been independently tested and verified by leading game performance measurement platform Gamebench. This is to consistently deliver a smooth, responsive gaming experience with 120 frames per second and console class input latency under 85 milliseconds. Now, let me keep it real with you all. When it comes to cloud gaming, a lot of it is going to be heavily dependent on your location and the distance to the server you're connecting to. As always, I'm going to recommend you try out these services first before heavily investing into any of them. But chances are, if you're in a supported country to one of these services, you'll be able to use it without issue. But speaking on my own experience using NVIDIA GeForce Now's 3080 tier, I feel fully confident going online and actually playing competitively. And since we're on the topic of games, by supporting GeForce Now, Amazon Luna, and Xbox Cloud Gaming, you have access to over 1500 PC and console titles. This includes heavy-hitting games like Cyberpunk 2077, Rainbow Six Siege, Apex Legends, Fortnite, the list goes on and on. There really is no shortage of games to choose from, and more and more keep getting added each and every week. Interestingly enough, to make the experience even easier to find games, there's added search functionality that will include games from NVIDIA GeForce Now and the Google Play Store at launch. You'll simply click Google Chrome's Everything button, type the name of the game, and if it's there, you just click and you play. Super seamless and very quick. Now it is important to point out that at launch it will only support GeForce Now and Google Play, but they are seeking to include the other cloud gaming platforms in the future. Now another topic I think is worth discussing here is gaming gear. 
Google has teamed up with peripheral manufacturers like Acer, Corsair, HyperX, Lenovo, and SteelSeries to ensure the popular mice, headsets, and controllers are tested and certified to work with Chromebooks. That sort of stuff is always important because people like to game with the way they're used to. So if you're like a lot of people out there, you can easily bring over your HyperX Cloud 2s as well as your SteelSeries Rival 3. In addition to this, there's also going to be some special offers for anyone who picks up one of these cloud gaming Chromebooks up. Anyone who picks one up brand new will be eligible for a 3 month trial to Amazon Luna and Nvidia GeForce Now's RTX 3080 tier. It is worth pointing out that Amazon Luna is still only available in the US though. And with that, we've pretty much covered everything you need to know about these devices and what was shared today. Most of these are on target to release this month, so be sure to keep an eye out for them. But I think it's important to recognize that cloud gaming is starting to get some traction. This is yet another type of device from multiple manufacturers that will be built with cloud gaming in mind. The simple truth is that cloud gaming is here to stay and we're just at the very start of it all. I have little to no doubt that we're going to be seeing more devices like these and I cannot wait to check them out. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching the video. This has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related. And until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.